Hello, I'm Carly Ann, holistic attachment coach and founder of Follow Your Fire, your membership for all things attachment styles and rediscovering yourself. So the question I got asked over on my Instagram where I do a weekly Q&A is how can they move on so easily? So that's what I'm going to be diving into. If as I'm talking, anything comes up that you want any more answers around you want me to dive into a little bit more let me know in the comments because I create a video or more content out of the feedback that I get from you plus as I always say I love to hear from you what I want you to know here when it comes to questioning how and why someone has moved on and that's a loop you can really get stuck on then I want you to know that we know, right, when it comes to moving on, when it comes to being able to process, it can be really tough, no matter the situation. And I'm talking about however long you've been seeing someone, however long the relationship has lasted. But one of the hardest parts about breakups and moving on is if you feel in any way that you have been replaced or if you feel like you have just been forgotten about or you're being ignored, imagining the person that you desire or love with someone else is a really, really painful image. And when there is truth in that, when it is that they've moved on, so I don't know if they have moved on or if this is something you're imagining, but when it's true, it can be really difficult to wrap your head around and you can send yourself into a spiral of, all of the questions, trying to know exactly what happened. What was it about you? What is it about this person? It can be endless and it can be really, really challenging. I've got no doubt if you're watching this that your mind is questioning what has happened and you're on a mission to figure it out. So let me say this, when you finish this video, maybe a couple of other videos if you're really in that investigating mode right now, Give yourself a set time and then that's it. Accept the answers and close the gap for yourself on this. If you need some direct help with that because you've been stuck here a long time wondering how they can move on, then it might be worth booking a one-to-one -one free call with me so that we can discuss what's going on for you and if there's any other way that I can help you right now. You're on the hunt right now for this to make sense and I get that, but sometimes what's really useful for your mind and your brain to understand is actually this doesn't make sense. This doesn't have to make sense, but your brain really, really wants it to. It wants the story and it wants it to be complete. I'm not sure you're going to find the exact answer you're looking for today because we can't read the other person's mind and I'm guessing you can't get the answer from them or you're not accepting the answer that they have given you. That's a trap we can fall into a lot. If their answer, if their reason doesn't suit what feels good for you or what is good enough for you, then you're going to keep searching for how they can move on so easily. The truth is there are plenty of reasons why people can move on so easily. It can be to do with their attachment style. And this is where I highly, highly recommend you being inside my membership, Follow, Follow Your Fire. There is a masterclass in there, how to get over rejection and heartbreak based on your attachment style. In that masterclass, we dive into all of these questions, how can people move on so quickly? How do people ghost? How can my reaction be so different to their reaction? And how can people respond so differently based on their attachment style? So I absolutely recommend that. That's gonna really help you with the coaching aspect, the actual change that you're looking for so that you don't keep going down this hole that you're in now because it's not helping you to move forward. But anyway, I digress. Other reasons can include, and I know you might not want to hear this, but that you're not a match for each other. This has run its course. I don't know how long that was, like I said, but they have another path to explore. And that's not easy. I don't, I'm not saying it is, but sometimes the truth can really help us. Maybe this person does process quickly. Maybe the way that they approach this is working for them. You know, it doesn't have to be that we respond the same way to endings, but we often expect people to 
respond the way that we respond and see the world the way that we see the world. And that's just not always the case. It might be that they don't have the space to process process this right now. They might not have planned that this is their next step. I don't, I, obviously I don't know your specific situation, but there are lots of different reasons. And my main message here today to help you is to not get lost in the reasons, to not get lost in the why, because that's preventing you from moving on, needing that kind of closure. That's what keeps your mind really active. It's what keeps all of this going and it's standing in the way. You need to grieve. You need to do what you need to do. Just because if someone else has moved on, it does not mean that you can't still feel and have feelings and be sad and hurt. So don't be pressured into that. You go through your grieving progress and you go or process and you go through this the way that you go through this. But I am telling you now, staying on the loop of how can they move on so quickly will keep you stuck where you are. So I hope this has been helpful. Let me know in the comments if you want me to expand on anything, anything that you think I've missed as well. I love to hear your ideas. Do not forget you're enough. You're lovable. You are so, so worthy and you are irreplaceable.